Tanya here at Our Gabled Home, where I like to share tips for a simple, beautiful, healthy, and sustainable living. And in today's video, I want to share with you one of the things that we um, absolutely love in our natural home, and that is using healing clays. They come in many different forms, and I'll be talking about the different ones, and also how you can use them in your home. for over 6,000 years by humans. And even today, um, animals use clay. They either roll in mud because they have some skin condition or they sometimes eat it because it helps with digestive issues. And there's different types of clay that I wanna show you today and how you can use them internally and externally. The first clay I wanna show you is kaolin clay. It is a whitish, very fine powder. I'm gonna pull that a little bit into the camera and also give you a closer up. And it's the most versatile because it's, uh, it has a very gentle um, exfoliating property and is really good for sensitive dry skin because as opposed to the other clays, it does not draw oil from your skin. So how can you use this? You can use it externally. You can make a paste with it or you can take it internally by just dissolving like a half a teaspoon in a glass of water and drinking that. The next one I want to show you is bentonite clay. It looks very similar to the kaolin clay and I actually have to um, label my jar so I know which one's which because I wouldn't be able to tell them apart. And this one is also used internally and externally you can make a, a mask for it and from it or you can use it internally again half a teaspoon to a glass of water and drink that away from food or any supplements that you're taking then we have the green clay which actually has decomposed plant material in it and this particular one that i have again doesn't look all that different from the other two clays that i've just shown you Again, I have to label my jars to make sure I know which one is which, and that has added benefits because of the decomposed plant material in it. And then we have the red clay. Obviously, this is red. That's really easy to tell. It's also good for skin masks and other topical um, uses. I want to show you a clay from uh, Germany. It's actually called Lose, because that is a very particular type of clay. It looks very brownish and um, it comes in different grades. This is actually considered food grade because it's been sifted and cleaned. So as per the website in, and we've taken it internally for many years, this is very safe. Um, so that is something that um, I'll be linking below where you can find that online. So all these clays have lots of minerals in them, magnesium, calcium, sodium, copper, iron, silica, and potassium. And because of all these minerals and because they tend to draw toxins, they're really good for detoxification. So externally, you can use them for any skin condition, and I'll be showing you how you can do a skin mask for several different um, applications. And what you simply do is you dissolve some of the clay and just a little bit of water, make it a very um, smooth um, paste, and then you just apply it to your skin. You can also use that for insect bites or for any other skin conditions. Um, you can use it for lymphedema. You can use it to diminish wrinkles and tighten pores. And one mask that I've want to talk about is one where you mix clay with jojoba oil and in studies that has been shown to reduce lesions and acne by about 54% over the course of six weeks using that a few times a week. You can use your clay and um, for that one I like to use the bentonite clay and oral health because it removes toxins and it has a gentle whitening property. 
I have a recipe for a homemade tooth powder that I'll be linking in the description box of this video below so you can make your own whitening um, tooth powder. So, and then we've been using this for many years. If you use clay internally, make sure it comes from a very good, trusted, clean source. Again, this one that I get from Germany um, is specifically for internal use and it's for acid reflux, for um, digestive issues as um, irritable bowel, it can help with diarrhea, it, um, if you have any stomach upsets, it can really help, it can draw out heavy metals from the body. And again, the bentonite clay actually acts as a mild, mild laxative versus the other clays that have more of, let's say you have diarrhea, they draw out the bacteria and the toxins from your digestive tract, whereas the bentonite clay um, actually acts as a mild, mild laxative and you can take that in just a little bit of water and just squish it down. And I'll show you how you can make a mask with your clays and I'm gonna be using two different ones. I have the Carolyn clay and the red clay because I'll be putting them on one half and the other half and then you can see the difference. And all I'm gonna do is adding some warm water to the clay and simply mix it up. So once you have that consistency here, it's probably a little softer than I might usually do it, but then it actually goes on better. And all you do is you apply that over a clean, dry face. And let me I'll show you what that looks like. You leave out the delicate area around your eyes and mouth. So this is one side of my face with kaolin clay and I will do the other side with the red clay just adding a tiny bit of water you can always add more you can also use your hands to apply those masks to your skin you don't have to use a brush I'm going to put that on the other side of my face. So all you do now is you wait for anywhere from 5 to 15 minutes um, letting it dry you'll get dry patches and then it will actually really tighten and when you start to talk it will crumble off so just that you know that that's going to happen and you can also leave that on for 15 minutes depending on the effect that you want but those masks are great for a pick me up if you're going out on a date night um, if you have some skin problems, if you have acne, you can do that um, very easily a few times a week. I said earlier, you can also use that for insect bites and then obviously you just use it on a tiny spot. Um, you can put some band-aid over it and leave it on overnight and it actually really draws out um, everything out of the skin. And I hope you enjoyed this video. You can hop over to my blog, OurGabledHome.com, where I have more tips and recipes. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, give me a like, ask all your questions in the comment box below. I'd love to answer them, and I hope to see you next time right here. Thank you for watching.